another adventure on the homestead. You like my beard? I think it's pretty amazing. So it's a little different having me on this end of it. I like to hide on the other side. However, Jim's at work, and so it's a special day coming up, Father's Day and his birthday on the same day. So we talked about it, me and the boys, and decided that what dad would love more than anything else is a clean garage. Jim is definitely very organized and very clean, and when we're doing projects and going out, and nothing is in its place and everything is in complete disarray. He doesn't like it. So what we're going to do, it is a hot, like 90 something degree day and it's pretty stale, but boys are excited. I have pumped them full of ices and smoothies and all sorts of cold things. So hopefully we can really get this morale going and get it done for Jim. I'm excited. I love you, babe. So this is what we have to work with. As of right now, this thing is pretty. Since we moved here, it has been complete chaos in here. We've cleaned it a couple of times, but it's pretty in serious need of help. To the point Jim will completely avoid being in here if at all costs, because it's so in complete disarray. So, figured out of everything and me and Jack and Steven had talked about it and decided that dad would love this. Although now that it's time to actually get to work, I think they're kicking themselves. So, but there's windows in here. We can open the windows and it's going to be great. And then our animal place has been, I hate showing y'all, but to appreciate what it's going to look like. Oops. You got to see where it's at right now. So we got hay for everybody and we've gotten more seeds and everything is just kind of getting thrown around. So today's the day we're going to do it because tomorrow Jim's going to be home and I don't want him out here and having to do anything. This is one of the hardest working men I know. He works really long days at work and really busts himself there and then comes home and takes care of us and takes care of the animals and takes care of the homestead. So today, we're taking care of you, babe. Oh, I changed my mind already. This is pretty, ugh, it's pretty bad. So anyways, I'm gonna go get the kids and we're gonna set this up and we're going to, it's a lot of work. I don't think I wanna do it anymore. My kind heartedness kind of changed. Ooh. All right, anyways, we're gonna get to work and well, well. I'll be back with five kids. All right, started a little later than I was hoping. We had to go make sure everybody had their midday water and everything all set up. So now, here we go.
You gonna get in the water, Grayson? Get in it. Touch your feet. It's cold. No! <laughs> <laughs> Water break. Nice and cold. Oh no, it's gonna get you. Here you go, Jack. What makes Dad so special to you? Anyways, like Dad says, today's another adventure. It's time to clean the garage. It's Father's Day. We're going on an adventure. Now we're gonna talk about what makes Dad so special? Um, so, one time we were talking about, um, you know, like Dad always talks and gives us advice on how to treat our kids and really nice thing. Because, you know, one day I was talking to him and um, he's giving us all this advice. And then he said he wanted us to be better than him. But, you know, Dad just wants us improve ourselves and become I mean I don't know if you can get any better than that dad says we need to be better and I'm just walking around trying to find a little something dad always gives us you know just good advice on how to grow up and treat our family and what to do, what not to do, even though we haven't been with him as much as a lot of kids are with their dads. Um, still learn more, I think. Just like a long time ago, and I'm really glad he moved up here because he used to live on the other side, like opposite sides of the country. And out of like a whole year we'd seen for like a month maybe. It's really nice because then you think how much you really need a dad. And um, we didn't see him as much. We were with our mom the whole time. And every time we would see dad, it would just be like the best time ever. It's like, it's like going to, I don't know, it's like going to fair or something. If you go to a fair, it's like one time a year. I don't know what it felt like. And I moved up here, it's pretty amazing. You know, because you see Dad every every other week. Not as much as I would like to, but I see him a lot. And never really. So what makes Dad special? So even though, like, we've, I mean, this week, it's not been a good week. It's been really hot. We lost a lot of animals. But you know, some of them were our fault, and Dad told us, me and Steven, he talked to us, and he was like, he w he didn't yell at us or scream at us or anything, he was just really nice about it. He was telling us what we did wrong, what we need to do right next time, you know, and that's, that's what I like a lot, because it's a lot easier to learn something if you're taught well, and not discouraged. I look up to my dad a lot. Look up to him for everything I do. You know, and I'm always thinking what later on in my life is going to be like. I know exactly how it's going to be like. It's going to be exactly what all these videos are like, you know. I'll be walking around like dad with a long beard. A little bit of French roll on the whole Yeah, you know, and what I like a lot, I like quality time, like time alone, and you just get to have your own conversations with dad and tell him everything, because I don't, I don't, I don't think he's dead, you know, like, tell him everything that goes on in my life, and I ask him questions, and he always tells, gives me super good advice, I'm like what to do. He gives us advice and we follow it. It really does help. You would rather tell things to your dad than just like talking to him. It's really nice having 
quality time. If I ask him a question, he'll never not have an answer for it. There'll always be an answer, like a wise answer. He always does this when he talks about it. That strokes his beard. And every time he picks us up, so it's like, how was your week, guys? Was it good? You know, we tell him about our week. But it's really nice, because, like, he doesn't talk about his problems, you know? He just instantly just goes to, how was your week? Like, you know, how I, if I ask him a question, He's never not an answer, because he's always got an answer for everything. But anyways, need to go work on the grass again, so yeah. Bye, love you, Dad. So, I'm not really entirely knowing what I'm going to say. I guess I'll just speak from the heart about father, my father. So, like, everything we have here, he's done for us and his, and Grayson and Logan, because he, he wants us to eat healthy and organic stuff. So, he worked hard. We all worked hard for this. So... And one thing that I really love about my dad is, well, first, me, Jack, and Nathan, we can be procrastinators, me especially. We can be some pretty big procrastinators. Not my dad. Literally, he, like, feels, unless he's really pooped out, he literally, he's just, he's, he, like, he loves doing stuff. He loves getting stuff done. Like, he feels like sick if he doesn't work. And it's kind of really strange though. But I guess it's not really, well, it's strange to me. Which, like, if he, if he, if he has the thing good about my dad, that is he has the time, and if he has the stuff to do it, he won't wait to do it. He'll do it if he has the time and if we can do it. Which is amazing about my dad. It's, it's hard to put into words, kind of. It's hard to really put into words. He, he cares so much about us. He's, he's, he's amazing. He's my father. I wish that I could do, I wish I, that I have done more, I could have done more for my dad. That I sometimes just haven't stressed out my dad. My dad, every day, would teach us something new to show us and make us independent. I like being, in, I like that feeling of being independent. But when I actually am independent one day, I don't know what I will, I don't know what I would do if, how, like, how much long I could actually, like, go without, like, saying, Hey, Dad, what, what, what could I, like, I need, what, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, like, I need help. When our old house, it, when our, in our old, old house, my dad would, my dad would have worked his bottom off so hard. And just because he wanted to get us to a nice, good, big old space to where we can, to this house that we live in right now. This wonderful, beautiful house. Which is amazing because we haven't even lived here for a whole year yet. We, like, I just, the first time I saw this house was in October 30, it was on Halloween. When we stopped by here. This first time I saw it inside the house. And like a week later we moved in and we already got all this done just because my dad because my dad just had the time and decided to do it. Well, my turn to do a video. And, well, Dan, I just want to say thank you for all of this, it's just been a pure, huge blessing for me, a safe haven, if you will. 
makes me, I can honestly say I am very happy here, always very happy here, and um, it's just a place, like I always say, it's a place I can de-stress. I don't stress out here, but I'm very thankful for. It's just, it's a, time, it's a place where I can be still, like it says, as it says in the Bible, be still and know that I am God, it says in the Bible. And it's just a place where I can do that. And I'm very thankful for that, and I'm very thankful that you have allowed us to, well, that you've given us a place like this, where we can just flee away from the troubles of the world. Like Jack said, it doesn't feel like quarantine here. Nothing changes, it's very much, it's a very new adventure every day. I love it. It's just a very happy place, and I'm thankful for it. Forgive. I'm thankful so much for you for you giving us this. It's just so nice to just sit down and you 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 could be doing stuff out here, and then after you've done all the chores for the day and all the work for the day, you can just sit down and just stare. So nice. I love it. I love being here. I love. That you've given us, they given this to us, and I love that you're being. I love that you are our mentor, and our and our guide. Through our troubled years of te teenage, we're just trying to find our way. I suppose that's the word I could say. Just so nice, so happy. I'm just I'm so I just so love it that it's so happy favorite thing about this. Everyone's just so happy. Thank you, Dad. Thank you for all. Thank you, Dad. Thank you a lot. As again, I say, I'm very happy always to be here. Love you, Dad. My favorite thing about my dad is that he is always, not well, not always, but he is making stuff, like a rabbit thing, for like all of our animals, and how he's been making, um, like garden beds and chicken coops and even a goat pen. I, I just think that's something uh, I love about my dad. I love the things I also love about my dad is that he is a very kind uh, person. Um, very kind hearted. Think he's always thinking about people and like really nice. Um, and if it wasn't for him that we would not have this beautiful home that we have right now. It is beautiful. I love it. We have all this land and it's perfect for all of our animals and I think our animals love it. Pretty, pretty nice. And all the trees, after they grew their leaves on them, they are beautiful and they just have a lot of shade that is like perfect for the house so it keeps it cool when it's really hot outside. So, I really wanna make this day about him. Bye. She loves. I tell you, Angela loves you. You are a warm, blessed soul. And Jim got home, and he started on the Rabbit Hotel. And boys stopped, you know, to help him. And you know, that's always special time with them to be able to work with Dad on a project and get things done around the homestead. It was just really special to sit back and be able to watch and see 
them just work together. And it reminded me of my childhood and with my dad and he would, would always just have the most patience no matter what. And he could send me to get a tool and I would take 30 minutes to get it and probably come back with the wrong thing. I'm assuming lots of times and he was so patient and always so kind about it and always brought it as an opportunity to be able to learn and you know, never criticize, you know, you for doing the wrong stuff for getting the wrong stuff or not, you know, helping in the right way he needed. And I was able to really see that and watch Jim with the kids and working with the rabbit track or with the rabbit hotel. And I know it took a lot longer than it, you know, than it could have. And just watching him really just take the time with each and every kid and explain things to them and, you know, let them find out ways that they're doing the mistakes on their own or just learning along the way and makes me thankful for the dad that I had growing up. And it also makes me really thankful for the father that my kids get to have growing up. He's a great man that they can really look up to and you know, know that dad's always going to be there and not judging, you know, or knocking them down when they make a mistake. And he's just always there to be a helping hand up and teach them through stuff. And he's just always a good middle for them. And I'm so thankful that they have that growing up the same way I had that in my dad. Really thankful for the man that he is. He's always going above and beyond for everybody. I mean, he works his tail off at work, and comes home and takes care of the homestead and taking care of us and I mean working lots of hours and just a lot of times getting very small amounts of sleep just to make sure that everybody else is taken care of and I just love him he's such a great husband and a great daddy and I'm so thankful that my kids get to have him you know as their dad to grow up and be able to see how a, how man is really supposed to be how he's supposed to raise his family and you know how a husband is supposed to be, you know, and how a dad is really supposed to be. And I'm just, I'm really thankful for him and I love him. Well, this was an unexpected surprise. I'm very, very blessed, very grateful to have um, the children that I have. I honestly couldn't have asked for better. To be truthfully honest, I couldn't ask for more. Um, I definitely consider myself blessed. Um, many times when people ask me how many kids I have, and I tell them we have six children, it tends to be an eyebrow raiser, but to me, it is a blessing. And to me, it is something that I look at and go, I have so much to be thankful and blessed for. Thank you kids for making this video for me and it means a lot to you your dad not only to see your heart but to see that what I do means something to you and uh, I am grateful to you all and the heart that you put into this and I pray that this will the memories we make together will last you forever and they will give you continue to give you happiness continue to give you joy windows of light into your life and uh, this was a great decision. This was a wonderful decision. How this all came to be, maybe one day we'll talk more about that, but the fact that we made the decision to make this together, it's been wonderful. And I am grateful to you kids. I'm thankful that we made such wonderful memories. I look forward to the many more we have. Well, I hope this was a blessing to you today. Thank you for joining us. Please like, share, and subscribe to our videos. We'll see you right back here on the next adventure.